हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand separating the signal quantities and DC quantities. If we say signal quantities or signal components, it is AC component. So we are separating the AC components and DC components. The question is why we want to separate the signals. The AC components and DC components are separated to analyze the circuit. or to analyze the amplifier circuit so to analyze the amplifier circuit we will separate the ac components and dc components let us consider the common emitter amplifier circuit as shown in this figure the amplifier circuit consists of two important components first one is dc components which are constant over time and second component is ac components which are also known as signal components these components will vary with respect to time so in an amplifier circuit there are two important components which is dc component and ac components dc components are constant over time and ac components which are also known as signal components will vary with respect to time in an amplifier the total voltage can be given as vbe is equal to capital vbe plus small vbe so here vbe represents total voltage here capital vbe represents dc component and small vbe represents ac component similarly if we take total current we can write it as ic plus small ic so here small i capital c represents total current capital ic represents dc component and small ic represents ac components so in an amplifier circuit as i told there are two components which are ac component as well as dc components now we can determine the dc components by making the ac components as zero in an amplifier circuit so dc components can be determined by making ac signal as zero so this is the common emitter amplifier circuit where we have eliminated all the ac signals which means we have made ac signal as zero as you can see in this diagram we are using vbe as an ac signal this signal is eliminated or it is made as zero to obtain the circuit by considering the dc components and by eliminating the ac signals we will get to know all the dc components and all the dc signals that are present in a circuit so from this circuit we can easily identify ic current which is collector current base current as well as the voltage between the collector and emitter and the voltage between base and emitter which are the dc components so by considering dc components we will get to know all dc signals and components that are present in the circuit so this figure shows all the dc current components with respect to the dc voltage vbe now the ac components can be determined by eliminating the dc signals to eliminate the dc signal dc voltage will be replaced with short circuit and dc current source is replaced with open circuit so ac components can be determined by eliminating the dc signals so to eliminate the dc signals the dc voltage is replaced with short circuit and dc current source is replaced with open circuit 
So in this amplifier circuit, we don't have the DC current source. We have the DC voltage source. This DC voltage source will be removed and it is replaced with a short circuit. And also we are having one more DC source which will be eliminated and it will be replaced with a short circuit. So this is the amplifier circuit after eliminating the DC components. By considering only the AC signals in an amplifier, we will get to know all the AC signal and components that are present in the circuit. As you can see, we can find the current IB which is a small signal or AC signal that can be given as VBE divided by R pi and we can find IC which is equal to GM into VBE and we can find IE which is equal to VBE divided by RE. So by considering AC components we will get to know all AC signals and components. So this figure shows the expression for current IB, IC and IE that is obtained for small signal which is VBE. So here in this circuit the small signal VBE or AC signal VBE is applied and we have obtained the expression for different current components. Also you need to remember that if we consider only the DC components in a circuit or if we consider only AC component in a circuit so these are not the amplifier circuits these are just the part of an amplifier circuit. This is about separating the signal and DC quantities. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.